Uh, also in our Abuja studio is a member of the People's Democratic Party, Katan Anuju. Katan Anuju, you heard Mr. Mohamed talk about the movement of the Senate president to the PDP, but he said something, he said that uh, the APC is a party owned by the people and the PDP, I don't know what your reaction is to that. Well, thank you very much. I am happy that uh, we are all witnesses to what's been going on. The APC was supposed to be an alliance of several groups who came together, but after they won and got into government, the alliance members were not allowed uh, to become part of government. Uh, there were those who were organized, which uh, the president's wife referred to as a cabal. Those people did not want those who did not, uh, in their estimation, uh, are not considered to be part of them, uh, to actually become part and parcel of government. And we've managed that. So I am not surprised about the sudden return back home of those who traveled from the PDP to go become part of that new coalition. It has now failing. It has recorded the second period of economic recession in Nigeria's history. It has recorded the highest level of human slaughtering in a way that depicts the failure of state. It has recorded the highest exclusion in governance, and that has damaged national cohesion. We have now seen President Buhari lie to us that he was ready to govern, but we've seen no, he was old, he was sick, and he spent over 100 days in London. So we actually were sold a scam, and that's why, uh, since they couldn't get accommodation, a lot of the members of the PDP who traveled to that journey are now making it back. In regards to the issues about Sokoto, it's a monolithic state where things are organized properly. And the reasons why you have seen the wait and coming attitude is they wanted everybody to travel in the same bus, as you saw in the Quara issue. They, everybody had to agree, travel in the same bus. And then you had that mass return of all who traveled. Nobody wants to travel alone. That's why you're seeing all those things in a staggered form. As far as I'm concerned, it simply depicts the failure of uh, President Buhari. He's not been May able to ask you leave. this, He's because the, those who still believe that, look, the fact that, yes, you have some senators and some governors move from APC to PDP does not necessarily mean that translates to acceptance on the part of Nigerians or election victory because they are ultimately the ones who will still decide and by the way you still have a huge challenge of seeing how your coalition works because while you're at it the APC is going to present their candidate and they will go for the elections well I don't see it that way uh, it's a democracy uh, candidates emerge through the primary process. Uh, we are simply telling Nigerians, compare and contrast. If we, the PDP, believed in uh, the growth of the economy by the private sector, we have seen President Buhari return the country back to the 70s, at which time the state did control the enterprises. So we did believe in the markets. They don't believe in the markets. We do believe in privatization. President, President Buhari believes in state control of enterprises. We do believe in an inclusive Nigeria. He doesn't see that. You could see the movement in the Benue. It is because of the headsman ideology. And that a lot of people are not agreeable to this. People do not want to do, as Femi Adesino stated on national television, to give up their central land or lose their lives. So you have seen in the Senate, the hounding of the Senate president, you have seen the judgment from the Supreme Court, which said that normally it should be the Code of Conduct Bureau that should present a charge after all the returns and reactions between the Code of Conduct Bureau and whoever is being charged. But in this case, the Supreme Court stated that it was the presidency who actually wrote those charges and forced them upon the hands of the Code of Conduct Tribunal. And that was why it failed at the Code of Conduct Tribunal, and also failed 
at the Supreme Court during clarification. So what you've seen is people like uh, Senator Bukola Seraki have actually been taking a lot, uh, through a lot of sufferings, simply because people believe the way he became a yeah, senator but, uh, was an incestuous process. And right, that yeah. is why I think he has come back in and we're happy for that. that. In addition to that, uh, even though Mr. Dishino didn't put it the way you said it, either or, no, that, that wasn't the way uh, he put it, but just people misinterpreting it, which uh, he also spoke about when he came back on our program. But moving on from that one, how will your party sell itself to the people who have this impression, having seen some of those who the anti-graft agency have recovered some monies from, and then they've got this impression that, oh dear, if all of that happened during the time of the PDP, they don't think that they will vote the PDP in 2019. It's not true. Uh, the PDP was the singular party that was responsible for transiting Nigeria from dictatorship onto the period of democracy. I am very proud that we are responsible for the longest period of political stability in Nigeria's history. And that's why we are where we are. So the idea of uh, prosecutions that I do not uh, uh, see that as anything big, it's what I'm worried about is a selective prosecution. You've now heard about Benue State. As Governor Otom made way to return back to his old party, the PDP, that was when charges were raised against him. And you had what uh, the chairman of uh, the APC has been doing, which I'm very happy for. I think uh, the chairman of the APC will have been serving as a good recruitment tool for the PDP. And I pray he continues his offensive positions. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing wrong with people being accused of wrongdoings. If you're accused, you go answer yourself. You don't forget, nobody under President Buhari's government has been taken to court. The people who have been taken to court were people who were charged from the time of President Bassanger, as you can see in the case of uh, uh, the two gentlemen that have been convicted, Governor Iyame and Governor Darie, and of course and those who are there. It's been a policy of the minute you stay in the APC, nobody touches you. But once you go to the PDP, then you will be open to prosecution. So I'm not worried about it, which is pure witch hunt. That's why the anti-corruption crusade failed. And you know that President Buhari is not serious at all about corruption. He said that yes, in a yesterday's publication that he will never be part of illegality and unconstitutional action in the Benue. Mm. So right, if he is true to that, let him, as the PDP has now told him, also sanction the police inspector general who, together with those who connive, to try to undermine democracy, All right, use let, policemen to, to block the chambers off the assembly, right, let, and then also... Just a minute, uh, 